In this video, we'll see about non-comparison based sorting algorithm. So till now we have seen any algorithm, they were all comparison based sort algorithm because we are doing some sort of comparison and then sorting the algorithm. But now we are seeing algorithm which are not based on comparison. These are non-comparison based sorting algorithm. Let's move to the first algorithm that is bucket sort. So bucket sort set is it is a sorting algorithm that works by distributing the elements of array into a number of buckets. Each bucket is then sorted individually, either using a different sorting algorithm or by recursively applying the bucket sort algorithm. So let's see an example that's how the bucket sort algorithm works. Okay, so this is the algorithm uh, written for bucket algorithm. But let me explain you in the simplest way this algorithm by taking an example. Let's say an input array is given this is the input array which is given and we have to sort these elements into a sorted order so what bucket uh, algorithm do we know that there are uh, uh, after zero point value you can see there can be a value from one to nine or zero to nine so we created an array which contain the value from zero to nine these are the buckets called buckets created okay so what we do we have to uh, sort this value in the sorted order so we'll see after zero point if there is a value which contain let's say 0 0.09 so we'll store this value at the bucket which contains zero that is this if it's a value which contain this is there then we store the 0 0.09 in this bucket now let's see this value contains 0 0.78 so we'll store this value at the bucket number seven okay so yeah we stored it here 0 0.78 so uh, you can also see that there are two values by seven at this zeroth index and this at the fourth index fourth index value will again come 0 0.72 because after uh, storing these two values like 0 0.78 come first and then 0 0.72 we sort these in the order like we can use any sorting method or you can use again bucket sort to sort these two by using the second value of the array or or the element okay so we have to do again a sorting method in these individually. Now let's see there is 0 0.17 then we stored this 0 0.17 there is one more the value with 1 which is here 7th index. So it is containing 1 so it will go to the bucket number 1 so it is come here and now we again do a, a sorted method like first 0 0.17 came and then 0 0.12 came so we do a sorted uh, any sorting algorithm we sort them in their relative order like this the third value of this 0 0.39 will go to the third bucket 0 0.26 will go to the second bucket and so on 7 9 2 1 2 6 8 will come to the sixth bucket that is bucket number six so that's how we store the values in the bucket in the sorting algorithm after if there uh, one bucket contain more than one values or one element then we do again a sorting algorithm among those elements and sort them in a relative order so that's how uh, bucket sort work it doesn't depend on comparison it does uh, on the range of values it is given in the input array so now let's see the time complexity of the bucket sort at worst case it is order of n square and why so let's say if there are n buckets and each bucket containing the n element in it then we have to do for this and work done in this n and again we have to do uh, the number of comparison or sorting algorithm in these n element also so at the worst case it will con uh, its time complexity will be order of n square and at the best case the time complexity is order of n plus k only and the space complexity is order of n plus k now let's see one more non-comparison based sorting algorithm which is counting sort now counting sort is an algorithm for sorting a collection of object according to the keys okay keys that are small positive integer that is it is an integer sorting algorithm it operates by counting the number of objects that possess distinct key values distinct key values and applying prefix sum on those count to determine the position of each key value in the output sequence now let us uh, see the algorithm an example for counting sort it is algorithm given for the counting sort okay this is the algorithm but before going to the algorithm let me show you a simple example but uh, that's how counting sort work okay let's see there is an uh, array which contain the element 2 2 3 4 1 5 1 5 okay so you we know that the range of 
value in input array is 1 to 5 okay for counting sort sort it is must that it sh we should know the range of our input array so our range of input array is from 1 to 5 so it creates an external array okay and again this array its range is 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay to okay it store the number of count it appears let's say for the one first it's count that two so it will increase the value of two it's come for the one time now two again came so it will increase the count by one more so it two came for two times now it will check three three came only one time now four four increase the count of four by one 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 increase the count of one by one that is one now 5 increase the count of 5 by 1 now 1 increase the count by 1 again so it will become 2 and 5 it will again become 2 so it so write the number of keys these keys so they are in sorted order by how many times they came like 1 came 2 times so it will write 1 2 times 2 came 2 times so it will write 2 2 times 3 came 1 time so it was only 1 time 4 came 1 time so only 1 4 then 5 also came 2 times so 5 so at last you can see that these are in sorted order so that's how counting sort work it sort the array like this in a sorted order by finding the number of time the keys occurs okay so that's how sort counting sort works and the time complexity for counting sort is order of n plus k and space complexity is also of order of n plus k now let's see the radix sort so in radix sort is a non comparative sorting algorithm it avoids comparison by creating and distributing elements into buckets according to their radix it work according to their radix for elements with more than one significant digit this bucketing process is repeated for each digit while preserving the ordering of the prior steps until all digit have been considered okay so that's how radix sort work let me show an example for radix sort let's say there are uh, some values given which are 804 20 006 005 064 052 001 so after first iteration what radix sort do it sort the values by this order it see whichever is the minimum value it stored in the first position like 0 1 is the minimum now 2 is the minimum so it will store 0 5 2 now 4 is the minimum here is also 4 is the minimum so it will uh, consider 804 is coming first so it will consider 804 then 0 6 4 then 5 is the minimum so 0 0 5 and 6 is the largest so 2 0 6 so after second iteration we sorted it by seeing this radix now it will saw in this position for this it will see that zero came first and here also zero came first but here one came first so it will do zero zero one as the first position and then eight zero four now these two are also zero so zero zero five and zero zero six okay now it will see for the second that is 5 so it will store 0 5 2 and 6 that is 0 6 4 so we have sorted in these two radix now it will see this digit for this digit will sort so first 0 will come but there are four values with 0 so it will see the second value that is second 0 it is will come first in this also they both are containing 0 0 0 0 but 5, five come first so it will come to this 0 0 5 0 0 6 now it will see it this value is the smallest 0 5 2 0 6 4 and at the last 8 that is 8 0 4 so we can see that these values are in sorted order so that's how radix sort work it works in individually in the digit it sort digit by digit by seeing each radix of the digit so that's how redis sort, sort works so the time complexity for redis sort is order of nd where n is the size of the array n is the this uh, size of the array and d is the number of digits that is number of digits here number of digits are 3 d is the number of digits in the largest number okay so that's how uh, time complexity taken by redis sort is order of nd 
Now space complexity is order of n plus 2 raised to the power d. It is the space complexity taken by Redis. Okay, thank you.